Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams. Remember the name. What's up, guys? Welcome to the video. If you guys resell shoes on eBay, StockX, Goat, wherever it may be, whatever platform, you're probably pretty familiar with Ross. I'm willing to bet you've probably been in at least one Ross and bought at least one pair of shoes at some point along your reselling journey. Now, personally, I've been reselling shoes, I think since, I wanna say like August, and I've been to more Rosses than I can possibly count. And I gotta say, honestly, out of all the stores that I shop at looking for shoes to resell, Ross is probably my favorite one, mostly because I've had the most luck there. I've definitely had the best finds there, the most finds there, but there is one thing that drives me absolutely crazy about Ross's shoes. And that one thing is this. For some odd reason, maybe you guys know, if you do, let me know down below. Ross feels the need to put the price of the shoes on the bottom of the shoes in permanent marker. Now why they do this, like I said, I have no idea because all the shoes also include a price tag like every other store. Maybe it's just their way of trolling resellers and messing with us a little bit. I don't know, that's my best guess. Anyways, if you do resell shoes or just buy shoes at Ross in general, chances are you probably want to remove this price from the bottom of your shoes, especially if you're reselling them. You're definitely gonna wanna remove this little guy before you ship these dudes off to your customers and to their new home. So in this video, I'm just gonna go over real quick how I personally take the price off the bottom of Ross shoes. Now, all you're really gonna need, honestly, is two things. Goo Gone, which you can buy pretty much anywhere, Walmart, Target, Amazon, along with a ton of other places. And then something to scrub off the market with, such as paper towel, maybe some Q-tips, depending on where the marker actually is on the shoes and depending on what the uh, bottom of the shoes looks like. Now I say that because as you can see on this shoe, the marker's right here on a flat surface. So that makes it really easy. You can just use the paper towel to scrub this off really quick. But sometimes Ross likes to make it a little more challenging to remove the marker and they'll put it somewhere like right here on the tread, on like the top of it, in between it. And in a case like that, honestly, you just gotta do what you can. Maybe use the paper towel, scrub as much as you can off of it, and then try and get in between the tread tread with a q-tip or if you have like a brush or something you just got to be creative do the best you can but i'd say the majority of the shoes for the most part are usually in pretty easy to get to spots like this one or the other shoe i'm going to use in this video is the charlotte hornets colored air maxes and you guys can see on these ones the price is right here which is also a relatively easy spot to get to and with that said let's go ahead and get started take your goo gone take your paper towel rip off a tiny little piece this whole thing is pretty straightforward. I know a lot of you guys can probably figure this out on your own, but I'll still go over it real quick anyways. Fold the paper towel a couple times until it looks something like this. Take the goo gone, spray a little bit on here. You don't want too much. You don't want it to be like running off the paper towel, but you still need enough that it's actually gonna clean the marker off. So maybe something like that. Take your shoe, your test subject, find where the price is and scrub it off. <laughs> That's pretty much all there is to it. Like I said, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And there you guys go. This is not the final result, but this one took quite a bit more scrubbing than most shoes do. Now, the reason I'm using two shoes for this little tutorial video is basically just to show you guys that not all the shoes are equal as far as the amount of time or amount of scrubbing you'll need to do to get the price off. Like these ones, for example. You guys saw this one took quite a bit of scrubbing, and that's because the bottom of the shoe is completely white, which, in my experience, shoes with white bottoms are gonna be the hardest to get the permanent marker off of, whereas, Shoes like these Air Maxes, it's a lot easier. It'll take a lot less time. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about real quick right now. Get some more paper towel, bada bing, bada boom. A little bit more goo gone. I feel like I'm doing one of those late night infomercials where I'm pretty much pitching you guys a product, showing you how to use it in hopes that you'll buy it. Don't worry guys. I don't have any affiliation with Goo Gone. I'm not trying to sell it to you. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm sure there's a ton of other ways to get this marker off. But for me personally, Goo Gone works. It's cheap, so that's what I use. Anyways, here we go. This one I scrubbed for like 10 seconds and already you can see the marker is almost completely gone. You can actually see it on the paper towel right there. A couple more scrubs and there you go. The price was right here. Now you guys can see it's pretty much, or it is completely gone. So there you guys go. Like I said, depending on the color of the bottom of the shoe, 
along with the uh, texture slash tread. Some shoes are gonna be a lot easier than others to get that marker completely off. But so far, I haven't really come across any shoe that Gugon wasn't able to eventually get the price off of. So, so far, so good. If you guys resell shoes or you buy shoes from Ross and you have other methods of getting that permanent marker off the bottom of the shoe, let me know down below. I'm always open to suggestions, always open to trying new things. I know, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there's gotta be a ton of other methods out there that can give you that same result. But honestly, I'm not really sure you're gonna find something too much cheaper than Gugon or something that's as readily available as this guy. And that, my friends, is pretty much all there is to it. So I hope this video helped you out. If you guys have any comments, suggestions, questions, whatever, drop them below. I'll do my best to help you out. And with that said, that's a wrap for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your night. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, stay limitless. Take a shot, you got everything you'll ever need You fought, you're not gonna let up on the speed Those knots, they got you, we're only make-believe